so if you guys have a Mustang or any type of convertible top car like mine this top right here as you can see kind of loose goes up and down it's loose so that's why it makes a rattle noise and like a harsh noise like when you're driving this shit it'll be like boom, 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 boom. every time you hit a bump it's annoying as shit like especially on video it's annoying so the way to fix that is basically you're gonna have to unlatch this which i'm about to do for you guys right now so you go underneath uh, in the car over here you're gonna see a uh, Hold on, let me, let me change the resolution because you guys can't see real. Alright, so now that we got the light working finally, you basically want to open this latch right here. You pull this down. There, like so. And then you're going to have this thing up here. You see it? And then the other side, you do the same. And then you're going to see this screw right here. Look. I don't know if you guys can see that real good. But look how loose that is. You want to tighten that. And then this one, let's see. All right. This one is fine. But that one definitely needs to tighten. So to tighten that, basically you need a wrench. And with the wrench, basically, you go, oh, let's try to let's turn the key. Let's have the top come back a little bit. So it can make it easier for us. So basically, if you guys see, I took it off. It's actually stuck over here, like so, like that. I don't know if you guys can see. There we go. It was like that, and look, it just comes off. That's the one of the cause of problems of why my shit was making noise while I'm driving and shit. When it's supposed to be like that one over there. Now you guys can see, see how it's attached. So basically, we got to just screw this back on so yeah it's a 12 mil socket uh, make sure it's a long socket and it'll screw right in and bolt right in uh, hopefully that hopefully you're lucky enough because if the threads are kind of fucked up then it's gonna not screw in and if it doesn't then they're gonna run into some problems because you know if this been loose and been shaking everywhere the threads might be fucked up already so the next thing to make sure that um, you don't get no roll noise is make sure that the top is even closed right. So in order to do that, you wanna evenly put this down when you're inside the car, which I'm about to show you in a second. And then before earlier over there, you saw in the corner that it was like moving around and that's why it was making a lot of noise also besides that bolt. So I'm gonna show you guys how to close it properly. All right, so this is how you're gonna close the top properly. If you don't do this properly, it's gonna make noise. So basically you're gonna press the button over here that you have to close the top and you're gonna bring it down slowly. Right? And once you got that, make sure that both corners are in the hole with the board basically both nuts are in the hole. Once you push down, make sure they're both on the hole, hold it down straight. We'll have that tab closed. And then you're gonna you're gonna do it both at the same time, okay? Once you do that, move it up and down. Alright, it looks strong. So now we're gonna go on the outside of the car. Go back to where earlier that it was kind of shaky. Let's do this side also so you guys see I'm not joking. Look, it, it doesn't move effortlessly. I'm telling you guys, if you do stuff properly, you avoid problems. You know what I'm saying? You think it's a big problem, but it's not. Then over here. Look, this is where it was shaking the most. Nothing. Look, at all. Look, look at that. At all. At all. So that's like one of the main factors is actually closing it properly. If you close something, the, the top properly, it shouldn't make any noise at all when you're driving. So if you're having that issue where when you're driving, every bump you hear, bop, 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 boom, 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 like rattling, and it's coming on top of your head, that's because you didn't close the top properly. Or that screw over there was loose or in the wrong position or something. So make sure you do those two things. And I, I hope this video actually helps you convertible top owners out. Even though my top is kind of messed up, if you can see my glass. I still haven't got that fixed yet, but sooner or later it's going to get fixed. But the main thing that was making noise was the looseness of this. So now that's out the way, I could have hopefully better audio inside the car when I do POV shots. 
But anyways, I hope this video helps you guys out with your convertible top car. And just stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. I do drifting videos. And hope you guys like it. So make sure you stay tuned for more of, of the Mustang build. And like, subscribe to the channel, share it through all social media. And peace out. Have a good night. Mm -hmm.